Now, what am I talking about today? I'm talking about how to provoke your prophetic word outburst. Hello? I'm teaching you. Now, it's not everything we pray about it in the kingdom. There are certain things when you pray about it, you will never receive a reward or a result. Please, are you here? My sisters, where are you guys going? Are they the horses? Okay. Let's limit our movement, please. Now, you should understand that when it comes to prophetic outbursts or adverse, it is what? Provoked. You don't pray about it. I will teach you in the scripture. From the Old Testament to the New Testament, those that release or receive an outburst, they did not pray about it. Amen. Now, the meaning of outburst is sudden release of a larger quantity. Something that is released to you suddenly. You don't no, you just provoke it and it is released of what? A larger quantity. So you can step here being broke, return home being a billionaire. It's called a prophetic word, outburst. You can enter the church single and you go out home preparing for your marriage. It's called prophetic word, outburst. You can enter the church looking for job, but after you go home the next day, you can receive an email. Congratulations. Amen. We don't pray about this. We do what? We provoke it. And to provoke it, there are two elements that one need to operate in to provoke it. Can we read? Yes. Verse 1. Yes. Now the wife of a son of the prophet. Now there was a wife of what? A son of the prophet. So we are talking about a wife of a prophet. Are you here? Not a church member by what? A prophet. What happened? Cried to Elisha. Now this wife went and cried to Elisha. That what? Your servant, my husband, is dead. Uh -huh. And you know. And you know. So Elisha knew that one of his prophets, one of his sons, was what? Dead. Continue. That your servant feared the Lord. Uh -huh. But the creditor has come to take my two sons and to be his slaves. Observe this. Now the prophet feared God, but he still died. I will show you something here. The prophet feared God, but he still what? Died. He feared God, but he still left what? Bills behind. Dead behind. Do you know that it is against the word of God? According to the book of Exodus, the Lord said, those who fear me, I will give them the best of the land. And their wives shall be fruitful. Their children shall be great. How come this prophet fear God? And he died leaving dead behind. Am I speaking to somebody here? And after all, his father was a major prophet. His spiritual father was a great prophet. Isn't it what is going on here? You have a great man of God, Apostle Scott. You come to church every time, every day. You are part of the worship team. You are part of the protocol team. But you are still dying every day. And you don't understand. How come I've given myself and still things are not working for me? It's not about your church. It's not that you are not worshiping God well. It's because you don't know how to provoke your prophetic adverse. Can I help you out? Why do you think the wife came to the prophet? That was the mistake the husband did. So after the death of the husband, the wife said, I will not sit down and repeat the same error. I must what? I must move. Can I help you out? Now when the husband was alive, 
he had debt. But the husband said, honey, let's pray. God will do it. They were praying, but still God was not doing it. When the husband was around, the debtors were harassing him. And every time the wife would say, let's go to Papa. And the prophet would say, no, let's pray. God will do it. It's not everything that you can pray about. So, when the husband died, the wife said, I will not sit down here and continue to pray. Because if I sit down here and continue to pray, I will also die like my husband. Oh, you are not here. You are not here. Am, am I helping somebody? Tell somebody, wake up, wake up, wake up. It is getting heated. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Now the wife with frustration and knowing the mistake that the husband has done, quickly moved to the spiritual father and told the spiritual father, you were aware of the issue. And the spiritual father was aware. According to biblical history, do you know the name of this prophet? The name of the prophet is Obadiah. Do you know which Obadiah I'm talking about? According to biblical history, this Obadiah was the administrator of the king called Ahab. Listen to me here. I'm teaching you something. He was the one that hired the hundred prophet, the hundred men of God from the threat of Jezebel. Are you here? He was a man that feared God, that served God during the time of Elijah. Before even Elijah was gone for Elijah to come. Now, how did he fall into this great disgrace of owning people? Are you here? Now, any time he would hide God's people, he had to feed them. So he doesn't have money to feed them. So what he does, he go and borrow to feed them. So the more he's borrowing, believing in God for miracle to what pay? Because he's taking care of the things of God. Are you here? Think about this. How you are sacrificing to advance the work of God. To advance the, the, the purpose of God. Having faith that God will reward you. But the more you are doing, the more you are going down. Because you don't understand certain mysteries. You see, your adverse is not caused by prayer. I will teach you. Now when the woman went to the father, what did the father say? Verse 2. Yes. Elisha said to her, what shall I do for you? Oh. That is a strange statement here. You know my husband was serving under you. You know he's dead. You know his sacrifice. How he fear God. How he stand for the things of God. And even my, 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 my husband died. And you have not even given me a penny. I'm coming to you to tell you what I'm going through with my son. And you are asking me what can I do for you? This is a prophetic statement. A lot of people go through issues when they come to apostle. Apostle will tell you God will do. God will do it and you are offended. Wow. Look at how I've sacrificed for this ministry. I don't even have a place to put my head. And the ministry could not even, you know, pay for one week hotel for me. And apostle is telling me God will do. You don't understand certain mysteries. Do you know why the prophet asked the woman, what can I do for you? Listen. Because when you are believing in God for prophetic outbursts, hear me. It's you that must possess yourself. Not God. You know that prophet stands as God representative. God speak through the prophet. When a prophet comes in your midst, it's a sign that God has visited you. Are you here? You can take God and prophet separately. When you say a prophet, you have seen God. When a prophet is speaking, God is speaking. So the woman came to God and God asked the woman, what can I do? Because your prophetic adverse does not rely on me. It relies on you. 
You don't understand. Hear me. Let me break it down. Prophetic outburst simply means you provoking what is not time to release or what your name is not on to be given to you. That is why God will ask you, what can I do? Because you have to position yourself well and say, God, even if it's not mine, I'm taking it now. And if you don't know how to do that, my dear, you can sit because listen, when God wants to bless you or God wants to elevate you in God's timing, he has prepared time and season. The Bible says that there is time for everything under what? Under the sun. So for God, your destiny is timed. Let's say at the age of 30, God wants to bless you. But at the age of 25, you are suffering. So if you are going to rely on God's timing, you got to sit down and cry for five years. But if you don't want to cry for five years, then you need what we call an outburst. Are you here? So if you need an outburst, then you got to learn to position yourself. So the prophet Elisha asked the woman, what can I do? Not in a meaningful manner. Not that he does not care. Sometimes you come to prophetic program, the way we talk offends you because you are not in the spirit. Where is the guy that played the piano? He ran away. Go call him. I'm, I'm not speaking here. And what did the woman say? Tell me, what have you of sale value in your house? Listen, she said. Listen, listen, listen. She said. The prophet said, what can I do for you? Tell me, what do you have in your house? So you see, the prophet is helping the woman. Because the prophet realized that the woman don't know this. Are you here? If you want to provoke a, an outburst, number one, you got to learn the mystery or the element of direction. If you are somebody you don't know spiritual directions. You cannot provoke an arbors. Do you think it was the time and the season for Jesus to get money from the mouth of the fish? No. But when he was, he needed it, he did not wait for the time. Because he knew how to what? Provoke an arbors. It is spiritual. So what did Jesus do? Jesus said, listen, we don't have to pay temple tax. But these people want to disgrace us. You know, in order to fulfill all righteousness, we want to provoke an adverse so that we can have one, a certain amount of money. Suddenly. They did not have money. Jesus wanted money suddenly. He said, Peter, go to this river. Throw in that thing here. And the first fish you will catch. Are you here? How do we catch fish? Do we have fishermen here? I forget how we call this thing. In French, it's called ham son. I forgot how we call it in English. Right? There's another name for it. You know what I'm talking about. A fisherman cannot throw this and catch fish without putting another meat. So to call the fish, you must put something to provoke the fish. Because that is not the time for the fish to come to you. This is Jesus knowing how to cause an outburst. You are sitting here. This is a light of man. Continue to sing. You will wait 10 years, 5 years, 2 
20 years in life sometimes you get yourself in the corner in a position that you did an outburst do you remember when Jesus picked up the five loaves of bread and few fish that was an outburst right there it was not the time for the father to release increase but Jesus knew how to what? provoke it so when the disciples ask our master can this few bread and feces feed this multitude? Jesus said, bring it to me. Because he knew something. Do you know that he could not increase the bread until he has a bread? You don't understand the revelation. He could not increase the fish until he had the fish. That is why Elisha said, what do you have in your house? Because outburst does not come until you release something to provoke it. Are you here? Am I talking to somebody here? You cannot increase your bread until you have a bread. You cannot increase fishes until you have fishes. You cannot cause an outburst of financial breakthrough until you have something in your hands. What do you have? Ask your neighbor, what do you have in your hands? You can receive the prophetic word. But an outburst is provoked. What did the woman say? She said, yes. your handmaid yes. has nothing in the house uh -huh. except a jar of oil. She said, I have nothing in the house. And it was true, she had nothing in the house. Because a prophet left the family broke are you here many of us we have nothing in our house we have nothing in our bank accounts we have nothing in our home some of us even going home after this service we don't know how we will do it because we have nothing now you have nothing but what you can find is what will provoke the others. Now let's listen to a revelation here. What did the prophet say? Then he said, Yes. Go around and borrow vessels. Hold on. The woman came to the prophet because of the cause of borrowing. And the prophet now is telling the woman to go and borrow again. Am I talking to somebody here? You want to provoke an outburst? The prophet was aware. This woman has nothing. And the prophet said, Go and add borrow to borrow. So that you can have what? The outburst you are looking for. The church is joking today. Do you know what? The church is not manifesting certain miracles. Because we don't understand the scripture we read. If I come to you, sir, and you tell me you have nothing, and I tell you, do you have a credit card? You say, yes, sir. I said, you have nothing. You have debt on the credit card. Use the credit card again. You are going to look at my eyes, into my eyes with your one eye. The next day, I will be in the news. Am I lying? Talk to me. This prophet, this prophet, this prophet. But it's not what you say that will change us. Because we are God representative on earth. We speak the mind of God. And we speak what we hear. Oh, somebody slap your hands and celebrate Jesus. So you understand. In this season of prophetic outbursts. Let me tell you, you will need nothing to add something to make or become somebody. So when a prophet calls a seed, it's not what you have, it's what you can find. You didn't catch the revelation. If you want to provoke prophetic outbursts, mama, it's not what you have, it's what you can find. And to find it, you got to look for it. 
The woman told the prophet, I have nothing. And the prophet said, it's not what you have that provoke an abyss. It's what you can find in that season. So if you don't have, I want you to go and look for it. Go around and find some neighbors and borrow something. Ask your neighbor, are you ready to look for it? Or you are ready to sit down like that. An outburst is provoked. It's not pray about. Did you hear the prophet saying that? Go and fast for 40 days. Huh? He said what? Go and borrow again. Go and do what? Borrow again. But this time, you are not borrowing by intuition. You are not borrowing listen by your human understanding like your husband your husband just borrowed because he felt the need to feed the prophet by this time you are borrowing by what prophetic instruction this is the difference if you are borrowing for your children's school fees you are not borrowing by prophetic instruction you are borrowing by poverty restriction. Oh, you are not here. You are not here. Right, are you here? Amen. So when you come to this meeting or meeting as this, and a prophet come to you and say, I want you to release a seed of thousand dollars. You don't tell the prophet I don't have. If not, you don't understand the meaning and the season of the meeting you are under. Can I share a revelation with you? Do you know that anytime we sit down and we bring out a program which God gives us, God prepares angels according to the theme of the program, according to the purpose of the program, so that whatever we are here for can be what? Fulfilled. And everybody can be blessed through the program. So this program is a prophetic outburst. There is what? Angels of what? Prophetic outburst. That only speak the language of outbursts. Don't speak the language of complaint. So to move those angels, you have to stand well. Oh, you are not here. Am I confusing you? Do you think that God is a Chinese man? Eh? That will use plastic and turn into spaghetti for you to eat. Tell somebody God is not a Chinese man. Oh, I said, tell somebody God is not a Chinese man. One day I was watching a video. Chinese people using plastic to do Peruvian hair and Brazilian wig. I said, Jesus Christ. Thank God Jesus came and died. If not, these Chinese people would turn this world into something else. Am I talking to somebody? You got to understand where you are. When God is speaking to you, it's not about how you feel and where you are. Because the angels that are released are angels to cause what? Outburst. So, the man of God said, go and borrow. Do you know what I love about this woman? The woman never said, man of God, I am in this trouble because of borrow. And you want me to Go and borrow again. So think, use your human brain. If you have nothing and you are surrounded with debt, and you add more debt to yourself, what, what will be the result? That is how the mind will tell you. But the woman said, no. This time, this borrowing is from what? A divine source. It's from a direct source. So I don't mind to lift up my credit card and show 5,000 in season of Christmas where I know I have to buy gifts, where I know I have to do stuff. You know, we are all Africans. You know how we celebrate Christmas now. You need some cow. You need some goat's meat. I don't get what I mean now. Everybody is coming home. And how we are, it's like all the family, we are all together. It doesn't matter. Your cousin can just enter the house without even calling. They are coming. When they come, they open the fridge. What do you have in the fridge? 
Like they, they pay your rent. This is the family. You get what I mean? So Christmas, a lot of money is spent. But let me tell you something. You are spending not according to divine instruction. You are spending according to human way. But when God come to you and say, my sister, I want you to release a seed of 5,000. You say, I don't have. You look for it. I will use my credit card. The moment you use it, there is what? An outburst. Because that word, that instruction was backed by divine power. So as you do it, God provoked that thing. So this woman said, I don't have everybody in my neighborhood know my case. But I will still go and borrow. She went and borrowed. And when she went and borrowed, what happened? Verse 4. Yes. And when you come in, yes. shut the door upon you yes. and your sons. Yes. Then pour out the oil you have uh -huh. into all those vessels, uh -huh. setting aside each one yes. when it is full. Uh -huh. Verse 5. So she went from him yes. and shut the door upon herself yes. and her sons, uh -huh. who brought to her the vessels as she poured the oil. Yes. Verse 6. When the vessels were all full, yes. she said to her son, uh -huh. bring me another vessel. Uh -huh. And he said to her, uh -huh. there is not one yes. left. Uh -huh. Then the oil stopped multiplying. Observe this. Now when she went and borrowed and followed the instruction, what happened? That little thing in her house that she called nothing filled barrels to a point, she was calling in for more barrels. And the son said, it is finished. Observe this. I'm teaching you what is prophetic adverse. Now, it was a little oil. A little oil that you just drop it and it's done. But as she was dropping, it was not stopping. Because there was what? There was an outburst. Somebody in these two days left, that money you are crying over is about to increase. We will even finish Christmas and this year, and that money is still increasing. I have witnessed that before. I went to Ghana and I did a direction God instructed me to do today with US dollars. I gave amount of US dollars to people. And I told them, you have to deposit this U.S. dollars in your account. Adding other money in the account. And in exchange, sow into the kingdom certain amounts that God instructed me. People did it. There was a testimony. A lady that did not have almost nothing in her account. The lady wanted to do a business. Till now, the lady does not understand how the money entered the account. Now the lady has become one of the... When I went to Ghana, the lady came secretly to me and said, Prophet, do you remember me? Last year you came and I was in a big situation with my business. I didn't know what to do. You gave me a direction. Now business is going well. I want to thank you with this offering of $1,000. It's just for you. Just for you to know that business is going well. Prophetic word. Outburst. The woman at that time had nothing. She could not sleep. But she listened to what? The direction of the Lord. She did what? She listened. Even though I don't know how this lady find the money. I said, next year when I go to Ghana, I will look for her and ask her, how did you find the money? She did not have it. She what? She find it. Are you here? Now, it doesn't matter your financial situation. It doesn't matter what you are going through right now. If you can position yourself for the flow of outbursts, by your obedience, what? Prophetic direction. I am telling you, from now, 
to 25th December, you will stand here to testify. The woman that came crying now turned into a woman that was celebrated because she knew how to cause what? A prophetic outburst. Are you here? What was the two elements? Number one, her obedience. To what? Number two, divine. She listed. Without letting her mind come against what God has spoken to her. Because she was in debt. But she has to what? Put more what? Debt. And the mind will say, are you crazy? They are Do you know that in, according to the book of Exodus, when you are a slave, you cannot leave your master up to six years. The Bible said that a slave man must serve for six years. And on the seventh year, their master must release them free. So this boy, that the debtors were coming for him, was going to be in the hands of the debtors under bondage for six good years. Because of the obedience of this woman, obeying spiritual direction the woman saved her child from what bondage am i talking to somebody i'm about to move on i'm about to prophesy but hear me there's something that you must know we have something called prophetic directions and we have something called prophetic word Prophetic word, listening to the revelation. Prophetic word manifests in season. Prophetic direction is an outburst. Read from Genesis to Revelation. Every prophetic direction you see brought what we call an instant result. A suddenly result. There is no prophetic direction that delayed in manifestation. Because prophetic direction bring outbursts. Amen. You remember there was a prophecy that Israel will go into captivity. And all that. It took a long time before they came out. But observe this year. When the river in Jericho was cursed. But Jericho was nice. What did the prophet Elijah do? He said bring me a sword. Bring me a bow. And went and dropped the sword. In the water. And the Bible said all of a sudden. The water became well. It's prophetic outburst. Do you know that. There was a time the Israelites. Reached to a place. That they needed water. But all the rivers around. Was what was not tasting good. The Bible says that. There was a prophetic direction. For them to cut a tree. And put it in the water. The Bible said that right there. The taste of the water changed. Every prophetic direction in the Bible bring what? An instant result. So if you are looking for a prophetic word, yes, it's good. But you have to wait for what? It's time. But if you are looking for a prophetic outburst, then you can't go without what? Prophetic direction. Somebody lift up your right hand. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I want you to pray this prayer. It is 1030. I will try my possible best. Amen. Say Lord. In the name of Jesus. I position myself. I position myself. For my prophetic outburst. For my prophetic outburst. Declare Lord. Help me. Help me. To listen to your prophetic direction in the name of Jesus. 